Sis, wake up. You're gonna be late for your first day. Did you even hear what I said? You're gonna be late. You go. Go away. I'm trying to sleep. Huh? Summer break is over already? <sighs> Why did it have to go by so fast? I need my beauty sleep if it will make a good impression today. Estella! You know what? I'm leaving you now, and if you're late for school, that's not my problem! About time you left. Ugh, I guess I'll get ready now. It's gonna be a long day today. As you already know, my name is Estella. I'm a Draco Angel, and I'm pretty high up on the power stat scale. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay, because I'm here to explain it to you. The hybrid ranking system is based on your species, which determines your power stats. The higher you are, the more power you have. First, the low ranks. These hybrids consist of your everyday animals like rabbits, cats, dogs, and sometimes even birds. They are the most common, and as you probably would have guessed, they have weak powers. Their power stats range from 1 to 2.9, but some can be above this depending on what species they are. They make up 55% of the hybrid population. Next are the mid ranks, also known as the forest and hybrids. They consist of deers, foxes, bears, squirrels, and more. These hybrids make up 30% of the population. Their powers range from 3 to 4.9, but sometimes they can go up to 5.5, meaning some can defeat high ranks. Speaking of high ranks, they are the next hybrids I'll be telling you about. They consist of lions, dragons, wolves, and tigers. Our power stats range from anywhere between 5 to 8.9, dragons being the most powerful high ranks and lions being the least powerful. We make up less than 15% of the population. Then there's the legendaries, phoenixes and unicorns. They are extremely powerful, with powers ranging from 9 to 9.9. .9. Only a few exist in the world making them the rare species. There isn't an exact percentage for them, as only a few have been discovered. But being the most powerful also has downsides. You see, there are hunters in the human world that are wanting to capture us, to sell us for a lot of money. They have somehow found a way to enter the hybrid world, and are lurking around searching for their next victim. The legendaries are most likely to be captured, as well as the high ranks like me, so we need to try and hide. But after many difficult centuries of searching, we have finally found a place of safety. A place where we can be at liberty once again, away from all the hatred and sorrow that it has been brought to us. A place where we can learn, grow and enhance our powers to the full. A place where hybrids like me can finally be out of harm's way, away from the hunters that are planning to capture us, a school that can provide us with everything that we have ever dreamed of. That school is Sunset Academy. So, oh, this must be the academy. I wonder where the newcomers go. I heard there's supposed to be a welcoming assembly or something like that. Hmm, maybe I could try ask someone. Surely I'll find someone who can tell me where I'm supposed to go. On second thoughts, I'm gonna try and find out it myself. I don't want to humiliate myself in front of a ton of people. Okay, 
I think I'm almost there. I just need to turn the corner and... Wait, haven't I already passed this? Oh no, I'm lost. <sighs> I guess it's my own fault for trying to find my way here alone. Huh? What's that noise? Oh, that hurts, you know. I'm so, so sorry. I... Watch where you're going next time. Why did you have your eyes closed anyway? I don't like big crowds, and... You're a Draco Angel hybrid? Yeah, why? You're acting like you've never seen one of us. Well, I haven't. Anyway, I have to get going. I'm supposed to be touring one of the newcomers now. Wait, are the newcomers supposed to be waiting here for the welcoming assembly? Welcoming assembly? That's on the other side of the school. <laughs> Don't tell me you've been waiting here for a half an hour thinking this was the welcoming assembly. Great job, Estella. You've humiliated yourself once again. <sighs> I guess this is going to take a while to get used to. Oh, so you have been waiting here for half an hour. I have, and I'm guessing I've missed the assembly too. Well, by the time you get there, it would most likely be over, so unfortunately you have... Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Harley, a lion bull hybrid, with a huge fear of crowds and loud noises. How about you? I'm Estella. You already know I'm a Draco Angel hybrid, and I have the brain size of a peanut. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe we can meet up after class. Sure. I still need to get my schedule and dorm number, though. If you walk down the hall and turn to your left, one of the older student volunteers will be there. Just give them your name, and they'll give you your schedule and dorm number. I'm assuming you've been here for a while. Yep, a year and a half to be exact. Whoa, that's quite a long time. No wonder she knows this school like the back of her hand. You should head down there before your first class. I guess you're right. See you after class. See ya. Now I need to find Estella to give her a tour. Wait a minute. I am so stupid. Hey, wait up. Hello! I'd like to pick up my schedule, please. Name? Estella Weathers. Here you go. Come back if you need anything else. Okay. Thank you. Let's go now, Harley. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn ya. About what? The school is pretty big. You'll probably be exhausted by the time we're finished with the tour. Thanks for the heads up. Now I'm debating whether or not this is a good idea. How big exactly is this school? Well, there's three buildings overall, unless you count the Building of Powers. Each of the buildings have three floors, and- That's easy for me. I can just fly. No, whatever you do, don't fly. Fly? It's one of the most important rules. If you fly, you'll get detention. Well, that's a dumb rule. It is, but I guess it's because some of the students here can't fly. Maybe to make it more fair for them? The rules don't really get explained much unless you actually break them. I'm guessing we got told the rules when we arrive. You got told them during the welcoming assembly, but someone didn't go. It wasn't my fault. Well, thank goodness the rules are printed on the front page of your schedule. Also, your dorm number should be on the back too. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Dorm number 147. Mine is 158. Who's your dorm partner? Willow Harrison. <gasps> what? Willow Harrison is head girl of the school. You're so unlucky. Unlucky? Willow is a vampire scorpion hybrid. And also two years older than me. Why would they put us in dorms with people older than us? I guess it's to help the newcomers feel more welcome. Your dorm changes after the first few months, though. 
I guess that's okay. I'm gonna go find my dorm and I'm back now. Uh, the dorms are that way. Oh, thanks for telling me. Bye. <laughs> Bye. First day and I've made my first friend. What could possibly go wrong? What do you think you're doing? I think you forgot who's in charge around here. Sorry, AJ. It's not my fault the dorms got messed up. Go ask the principal. Or ask the principal what? You were the one that assigned the dorms and put a newbie as my dorm partner, even though I specifically said I wanted my own dorm. The Phoenix! Looks like I spoke too soon. <laughs>